Hey everyone, this is Fred from Cosmic, back again with a new tutorial. Today, we're going to make this poster using Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator. So, let's jump into it. So, here we go. We are in Adobe Illustrator and I'm gonna grab the text tool and write Get. I'm gonna duplicate it, I think, four times. Because I, I want to make each word separated, so I'm, I'm, I want to write "get in touch with your." So get in touch with your. I'm gonna distribute the center. Oh wait, I have to give it some more space in between the words. So I think that will do. I'm gonna redistribute in center and here we go. So I'm thinking of adding a circle. Let me grab my ellipse tool. I'm gonna draw a circle and then make it this big so that it can contain all these words right here. So I'm gonna duplicate it four times. Four, five. Yeah, so I'm gonna center each word. So this looks fine, I think. So I'm gonna group them. I'm gonna group each word. And then I need to give them some more space in between. So this looks fine, I think. So I'm going to hit the redistribute center. I'm going to hit control D and it should go right in between every word so we're looking good I think so here we go for the other part so I'm gonna grab again the text tool then I'm gonna write perception so this is a poster that is kind of inspired by psychology or mindfulness I should say I got the idea to make this poster about getting in touch with our perception and with our senses so with our hearing seeing and touch which are the main ones I think so thought to myself why don't I make a poster about mindfulness And here I am making it. So I'm gonna pick a font which is called, which is called Ponzi. You can find it on Creative Market, I think. It has a funny look.
I think I'm gonna give these words all caps. Make them all caps. Wait, let me grab this one here. I'm gonna hit Control T to bring the text panel. And I'm gonna pick Helvetica for these letters. Pick up bold or medium. I'm gonna ungroup each word so that I can edit it freely. Or I'm gonna select them all and hit Control Shift G to ungroup. So I'm gonna select all. I think I think it look, it's looking good on Helvetica Medium, so I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, it looks good, so I'm gonna go and try to make the rest of the composition. So I'm gonna grab this word here gets I'm gonna duplicate it two times I'm gonna write here I'm gonna write here C or here C and touch or feel you can write whatever you want so this is the fun part I need some images for this poster so I think I'm gonna go to Pinterest or maybe pixels or I don't know a splash to find some good images you can pause the video and go find your own so that we can complete this design. So I'm gonna pause the video and go find some images. So here I am guys back again for the tutorial. I just downloaded the images that I'm going to be using in this uh, design. So I just wanna add one more element before, before uh, switch into Photoshop so that we can complete the design so I'm gonna write a nice phrase I think tell me what you think in the comments I'm gonna write I'm learning to or day by day I'm learning to Learning to be more in touch with my senses. Yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna give it some letting. Give it a point and here we go I think this is complete I think I might give this three words caps so let me see how it looks uh, I don't know about this I think I'm gonna leave it like so and what I'm gonna do now is jump to Photoshop to complete this design but first I want to give you an idea of what we'll be doing in Photoshop so, okay. so I think I I just downloaded three images and I think we need three boxes of equal size like so so we can put the images in and I think that this is how the final poster 
will look. So I just wanted to give you an idea of the final design so that you so that you can go ahead and jump to Photoshop and start designing with me. <laughs> so I'm just fine tuning the composition and editing it, editing it, editing it a little bit, sorry. I think I'm gonna scale this up. You know what? Let's try another font. So I have one font that I go with many times. So it's called Recolta. Recol yeah, Recolta. So it's a nice font, especially in lowercase letters. I think I'm gonna make it light so mm, I think I'm gonna go with Bumsy looks a little bit better so let's jump into Photoshop I'm gonna select all and hit copy then I just launched this document in Photoshop which is in the same proportion to the one that we were working with in Illustrator so I'm gonna hit edit and past pixels I'm gonna stretch it a little bit and here we go so what I like to do is I will delete these three boxes right now and just adjust the composition a little bit more. So this will do. And we're gonna grab our images. I hope you find some images on the internet. So I have this one and this one and this one. So so I'm gonna grab the rectangle tool and hold shift and draw a rectangle. give it a stroke and make the stroke rounded so I'm gonna round the corners like so let me see how it looks uh, it looks kind of fine I think I'm gonna round it a little bit more then I'm gonna grab or before I put the images in gonna duplicate this box two times hit control J and then grab another copy looks fine I think oh let's start adding some effects to the images that we downloaded so I'm gonna grab this one and I think I'm gonna use this rectangle as a clipping mask for the image I think I have to give it a fill, so like 
so and I'm gonna adjust the image a little bit so this looks fine it looks decent I think What I want to do now is add some effect because I don't want to use this picture with their original colors so I like to add some threshold and grain effects before I'm done. So I'm gonna start with this image and give it some noise. think around 20 would be good so and go to image adjustments and threshold so this looks awesome I think so you can see the effects created looks kind of good I think looks like it is printed I think my Photoshop just crashed so I'm gonna restart it and get back to the video so I'm back again guys I just restarted my Photoshop and we're ready to go for the two images that we are left with So I'm gonna make the same thing for this image. And we're ready. So I'm gonna group the pictures in one group in a separate group so that we can tweak the poster a little bit more. So I'm just checking to see if all the elements are centered and after that we'll add some great textures and we're ready to roll. So I'm gonna grab this group and so I think this looks good I'm gonna add some textures I'm gonna make it in screen blend mode 
and like to desaturate it because I don't like that greenish look and what I like to do now is go to image filter noise and add some noise So that's it guys for this tutorial, I hope you find it useful, if you like the video please like, comment, leave your feedback and subscribe to stay notified whenever I release new content. So see you in another one.